So right from the beginning of his unwillingness to have regular elections to the local bodies, village panchayats and municipalities. And uh, having an evidence like this that uh, the state election commissioner has to go to the apex court, an unprecedented thing that has happened in this country, to ensure that the elections are held and the security forces are provided. The responsibility of the state government are discharged in proper way. And again, this will find this time also. This time, the election commission has changed, but uh, he appears to be helpless. And he has expressed his helplessness in public. It has come out in the media also. He asked for the result. I mean, the parliamentary forces, the central forces that has been denied. Denied. The state BJP unit has been strongly arguing, not other oppositions have. I'm not talking about them, but the Home Minister, they have taken up, taken it up with their Home Minister, but they, they didn't provide any central force. Only three home periodic forces could be mobilized by the state government from somewhere, I don't know. And there was no observer, micro observer, only 18 observers, and uh, they are not available. So, even in the report violence, not to speak of the polling day. And uh, today, uh, going by the report that we have just, uh, that we received up to uh, around uh, noon, to, today noon, to around 12 or so, <coughs> uh, around 25 uh, words, most of the booths have been read. The election agents of the Opposition parties driven out, and uh, the people uh, pressing switches of the EVM in favor of the ruling party, and uh, voters not allowed to come to the polling station, threatened, beaten, some of them hospitalized, and uh, there is an incident where even there is rattled to firing. So it's Fuad Ali, Dr. Fuad Ali, who escaped for a little and. And 12 media persons have been also attacked because uh, they don't want to keep up the evidence of their mistake. And uh, in the women, oh, they have been also attacked and uh, threatened that they will be raped uh, if they go to the polling station. And uh, this is precisely because they, in the last uh, parliament election, the Fourth chair of the Trinamool Congress is, um, has come down in Kolkata Corporation in particular and uh, Chief Minister and some of the senior ministers were trailing behind, they were in the second position of some of the, in their constituencies and uh, particularly the constituencies where the left are strong have, have some, um, uh, some chance of um, getting elected, these are targeted in particular. So, and uh, last night, Kanti Ganguly was attacked along with her son and uh, two of the disabled pers the person there. That there has been a lot of incidents that has happened during the people uh, in the election preparations and uh, all the opposition party, nobody was spared. They were attacked in this process. And, the elections to 91 municipal bodies that are due in the next week, uh, uh, the resolution that we have called for that they need I mean, prepared to see that uh, the, in view of the what has happened, in view of the incidents that has happened in Kolkata municipal corporation elections, uh, that require additional preparation and uh, uh, alertness on part of the threat there respective to whichever political party they belong, so that the, they can ensure the exercise of their right to elect their representatives in the elections. And the organization calls for a protest and gives a call to the country, uh, our people all over the country to come out in the protest against the uh, attack on democracy and their democratic rights and uh, also expresses its solidarity with the struggle that has been taken, that is 
that the people of Kolkata today brave them to, and uh, that the people in West Bengal feel that is the essence of the resolution. I think. Uh, that is, I'm happy to, I think, the body and amply explained. <coughs> Of the 55 amendments accepted, were they put to vote all of them, or uh, was there any vote against the resolution? No, was it unanimous? No, the <coughs> political resolution was unanimously adopted. About the amendments, uh, the about the amendments, of course, some Congress pressed it. That was voted out, and. The resolution was passed unanimously. Uh, you, uh, Bangla hai prushno kuchhi? Jee bhabe, amra dekhi je apna the kormi samarthu kna mar khatche. Apna the dal ei prati bade ki padukhe apne bhar kato din mar khate bhabe apna the kormi evo samarthu kne. Mar to amra zono theke khatche. Jobe theke amare party toh jee bese karne. Jele gachi, bhai jee bese party. खून हो चुके, तीन हजार पेड़ के चक्कर चिम्मा हो गए, और दम तीन दर्जन पीपल वर की इन्वेस्टमेंट मार्केट में रिजीम ऑफ यूनाइटेड फ्रंट वाम में, तो ये ने उल्लेख है नहीं अंडा कहाँ दे जो कोनो आक्रमण ही होगा, हमरा मुक्का बिला पड़ी है वो, एवं हमरा आची मार्केट है ना हमरा काल को, ये तो कोनो सांद it's better that the Bengali media go there to the venue and uh, so, play for some time we can... So, just just prior to the election, few days back, your predecessor, Mr. Biman Basu, has categorically told in a press conference that come what may, in the municipal election, you will, your party men and the cadres will resist by tooth and limb. But today's scene is almost different. It's now, uh, there is, when there is an attack, the, your party men has come out from the booth and uh, from the area and the candidates also. So why has it happened? No, I said that more than the resolution itself says that 75 comrades have been beaten today and many of them have been hospitalized. So why are the people beaten and hundreds being hospitalized unless they were resisting this? Because they wanted to exercise their right. That has happened. But you must un understand this is an uneven but the government, the police administration, the entire administration uh, taking side of the government, the ruling party and the chief minister giving provocation the, just before the campaign end, violating all election rules, declaring new programs, uh, free hospital services for certain uh, cancer patients, all heart patients like that, even the day before the polling, all these, that is the atmosphere there. And election commission, especially is helplessness. That is, in public, as I said, that the situation that is only us, the left, and the people. And they have braved these attacks, and I believe they will continue to do. Mr. Sarthi, Mr. Sarthi, the, uh, the your political resolution mentioned about the uh, growing uh, economic crisis of the world capitalism. But situation, how do you see that the uh, prospect for struggle for socialism in India and internationally. present, we are visualizing the democratic revolution. Anti-feudal, anti-monopoly and anti imperialism After the completion, definitely, India will advance towards socialism and communism. <coughs> sir, may I have a question? Uh, sir, are you interested in becoming the general secretary of CPM and number one and number two? Comrade Achyutarandan has publicly wished uh, another candidate, Mr. Siddharam Echuri, all success to become the general secretary. What are your comments? That is not the practice in the Communist Party of India. We haven't started discussing about the general secretary. Today evening the Politburo will meet and try to prepare a draft proposal for the Central Committee and place it before the meeting of the Central Committee which will be held tomorrow. The question of the new Secretary and not new Politburo 
will be decided by the new central committee elected by the Congress. We have started discussing about the new general secretary. Lot of speculations are going on, and you are all very, very liberally contributing to, to that speculation. But are you in the race? There is no such race. There is no such thing in the Communist Party of India, Marxists. All these are very, very wild speculations. Are you? Are you interested? No, no, are you interested? Are you trying to say Kerala unity is supporting you? Complete friends. You have. You can ask as many questions as possible. Is it right to no, say? No, no, is it right to say? In the history of the CPM, we have never seen two names being talked up. We have always had a clear idea this person is going to succeed, the existing or the outgoing agency. No, it is your creation. It is your creation. So, we haven't. We haven't discussed that matter. So, we are very interestingly, we are reading these reports. Sir, so, so, I am trying to have it. Is, sir, is it right to say Kerala unity is supporting you? Pardon? Is it right to say Kerala unity is supporting you? Pardon? Is it right to say Kerala unity is supporting you? Sir, why this speculation? You are also contributing to that speculation. I am hearing from your TV. Sir, SRP, SRP, are you feeling bad that you are not in the race anymore and uh, Sitaram is joined you as the National Secretary? <laughs> Sir, on the basis of hypothesis and speculations, I cannot reply. But are you I tell you, the thing is that tomorrow we will constitute the, set, the party congress will decide the new central committee and the new central committee will discuss and then select the new chairman. Are, are you suggesting that Komarin Achutaratar has violated the party? No, no, I have no idea at all. It is Jomi, your suggestion. I have no idea. Comrade, you openly declared support. You wished Sita Ramachuri all the very best. I have no idea. He wants to see Sita Ramachuri as the next generation. I have no idea about it. Are you still? I have no idea at all. So, without knowing about it, I can't. Has BS wished you success? Pardon? Has BS wished you success? By any chance? Has Sita Ramachuri wished you success? I can't. I can't follow your question. Did B.S. Achyutanand then wish you also? No, normally that we don't do that work. He has done it today. I have no idea. I have no idea. Now, how uh, can you explain, uh, for instance, uh, the policy is being by? Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, the question is, uh, the CPM has been talking about fighting against the neoliberal policies for, for more than two decades now. And since the launching of these policies in the 90s, uh, now we saw the CPM has lost its spend off. And uh, so if you are really fighting against the neoliberal policies, um, you know, in, in, in the, against the central government and also in the state that you help power, uh, how, what was the alternative program that you put, to, put forward against the neoliberal policy? Against the neoliberal policy, our alternative, we have put in the draft of a solution on various items. We have put all of our proposals in the political draft, what we adopted on the basis that we will organize the people and we will organize their agitations and struggles. And we will try to uh, effect a change in the overall policies. That happened, of course, because of various reasons. Yes, yes. Comrade, are you suggesting that there is only one name before the party for becoming the next general secretary? Prashant, we haven't started discussing that matter. We haven't discussed at all. We will be discussing it only tomorrow. I know what your channel reported today. Some of my friends told me about that. Quote, support, oppose. That's a wild, uh, of course, uh, speculation. Yes, sir, we want to Comrade, yesterday, Tida Machuri in this uh, press conference said that whoever be the leader or whatever be the leadership that should appeal to the youth of the country. Is there any condition, precondition for uh, becoming the general secretary like that? We will consider all aspects. What is good for the party that we will decide. That is the main criteria. And for the people. What are the challenges uh, before the new general secretary? Yes. 
to lead the party to further progress and to lead the masses fighting against the anti-people policies of the present government and to meet the challenge of communalism. Did you report the events which happened in the Kerala State Committee while presenting this organizational report? And also you took disciplinary action against BSS and then was it informed in the conference? You know, what I informed in the conference, I don't wish to discuss with you now. After the report is adopted, then we will discuss with you. Is it true that we are going to retire after three years? Then we will discuss it. That also we are seeing lot of speculations. I don't want to add any speculation at present. Comrade, your party strength has been restricted mainly in the last few years, uh, last two decades, mainly in non-Hindi speaking states like Kerala and Bengal and Tripura. So your party strength mainly has been restricted to these states, to these states where you know you have formed government. Uh, and uh, this has been on card on agenda that you will expand in Hindi heartland. So Secondly, this is one of the important issues that we are now discussing. In 1978, we held an organization freedom in Sarkia. We formulated certain tasks. We tried to implement those tasks. And in 1992, at the time of the Chennai Party Congress, 14th Party Congress, we reviewed the implementation. And every party congress that we are reviewing it. And we are making a more serious introspection in the coming party media. This is one of the major issues we will be discussing there. Do you feel by any chance? the party decides to make you the general secretary, will you say yes or no? Jomi, I know you are inconvenient question. <laughs> I don't want to add any speculation at present on this issue. Uh, sir, adding, adding to that, sir, sir just, one, to yes, I pick just one question. That is uh, related to the closing ceremony of the conference. Yeah. Why even name is this? Is it from the first Yeah. Speaker. No, then we decided who or all should speak. It is our decision. It is our collective discussion. So the decision. You Do you speak? Mr. Ali, you are saying that 91 municipalities are going to be held in election when election commission is failure. What is your future course of action? When election commission is failure in West Bengal, what is your party's future course of action? Then we try to mobilize the people. It is only the people's intervention can uh, make these things right. So we will tell the people, rally the people. SRP, do you feel, given the fact that there is lesser youth joining CPIM these days, a younger face as the General Secretary would help connect with the masses more? All these issues, the new Central Committee will discuss and will take appropriate decisions. Don't worry about it. All secretaries are also very fairly younger and new generation of your secretaries in this state has also been younger. Won't they like to see a younger General Secretary? All your suggestions I will try to convey to my colleagues. Sir, <laughs> 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 regarding the attack on West Bengal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Regarding the attack on West Bengal, do you think there is some organizational lapses in the party of West Bengal? Already the Bengal State Committee has gone into details and the Bengal State Committee is taking steps. And Sudhananda Mishra is the most appropriate person to reply. That uh, I think uh, we have uh, told it several times and lastly after our uh, state conference held this time uh, that what we discussed, what decisions we arrived at and we have never, never held to to recourse to self-criticism. Criticism and self-criticism is a part of our discussion. Discussion is, uh, means both criticism and self-criticism. That is what we have pursued all through. Mr. Pillai, uh, you have been in charge of Bihar for a very long time now. 
Now, in the party congress, when you are talking about developments of Dalits, don't you think there was a uh, there was a failure of the central leadership that in places like Bihar, where once your party was very strong, now has completely, um, I would say that it's just not no longer there. So, don't you think it's a failure on the part of central leadership? Actually. In 1964, when the Communist Party of India Marxist and the CPI started functioning as two political parties, CPI was strong in Bihar. We started slowly, slowly expanding and we are gaining. Even now we are gaining. It's not declining, we are gaining. But as an electoral force, it may take some more time to emerge. We are not declining there. So it's Lot of problems we are facing there. The caste division in the society, the identity politics, and certainly our comrades are uh, meeting these challenges and slowly gaining strength. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tomorrow will be the last day of uh, this uh, Congress. Now, have you finally understood why have you done so badly over the past ten years? Who is responsible and what are the reasons? In community language. <laughs> the, the, the main thing is, our party works collective. No individual is responsible for it. So why should it be the general secretary then? Why should not be the general secretary also? Please allow me to answer. We discuss all issues democratically and we decide. And we collectively discuss and decide everything. And the general secretary's responsibility is to coordinate as the team leader. And the general secretary cannot take any individual decision. It is collectively discussed in the previous And we collectively implement it. The failure is the collective failure. The success is the collective success. SRP, will the present leadership, SRP, will the present leadership suggest anybody's name to the post of the general secretary before the new central committee? Or Will it be completely handed over to the new central committee? No, that we all discussed this matter. We haven't started discussing that matter. When will you start? That we will do it tomorrow. The several corrective proposals have come out. Has any discussion taken place regarding the body language, the spoken language, the verbal language of the leaders at the state and the central government, and even at the district and local level, which may have affected the performance of the party? which may have affected the, uh, uh, the way the party could or could not attract the new generation to the party. We have discussed all these matters. There are shortcomings and weaknesses. And we are rectifying and remedying those shortcomings and weaknesses. All will be majority of the corporates. They are very polite. They are leading a very simple life. There may be some aberrations here and there, and we are trying to rectify and remedy those aberrations. Comrade, so, will, will the new General Secretary will take the initiative to bring back RSP to LDF in Kerala? Pardon? Will the new General Secretary will take the initiative to bring back RSP to LDF in Kerala? Let the new General Secretary come in. Tomorrow we will discuss and decide, and the party will collectively discuss all these matters. Sir, can I please repeat my oh, question? What is the reason for the CPM's failure to grow over, over so many years? You have held a meeting for so many days now. What is the what is one, two, three simple reasons? Why did you fail to perform? I told you I started with that. We are making a serious re-examination. What about the political? Is there anything wrong with the political life? If it is wrong, what is wrong with the political life? And how to correct it? That's one of the issues that we discuss. Two, to me, what is the present challenge? How to meet that challenge? And what should be the political life? That also, today that we adopted. The third aspect about the organization. What about the organizational practices? Is What are the wrongs? How to correct that? We came to the conclusion a routine examination is not sufficient. 
to assess the overall situation and to suggest strategies. That's why that we are holding a party plenum, discussing on this policy mandates and policy mandates. Another aspect that we have been examining is a lot of changes have happened in the society, in the economy, in the social, in the society. The 67 years of capitalist growth and the 21 years of uh, this neoliberal implementation. So, a lot of changes have. We are studying those changes. Are we, we do we have a comprehensive understanding about this? And we, are we responding appropriately? That matter also being uh, discussed. 